FEMA. FEMA is at it again. They're going to be tackling your phones with loud noises. For what purpose? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, do you think that's a violation of your rights? If it is, I want you to take a look at this because this is about maintaining one of those rights guaranteed by the Constitution. And that's your Second Amendment one. Take a look at this. Also new this morning and sticking with tech this fall, every consumer cell phone will be part of a nationwide emergency alert test. FEMA and the FCC have scheduled the drill for October 4th at 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time. You can expect your cell phone to receive an alert that reads, quote, this is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. The reason for the test is to make sure that all systems are prepared in case of a national emergency and that needs to be sent out to the public. It'll be the second time that all cellular devices are tested. Look, they're supposed to be a protective agency, right? And uh, a helpful agency. When things go wrong, they're there to swoop in to pick up the crumbs and clean up the neighborhood and help out those crushed under rocks from an earthquake. Sounds really heroic. Superman-like. Unfortunately, that has never been the chore of FEMA. I consider FEMA more of a cleanup crew after an assassination. You, John Wick. I like John Wick. It was a good movie. Okay. So John Wick. He calls in the cleaners after some people break into his home and he just wipes them all out and they're just all over, strewn all over his home. And he calls in the cleaners. I consider them FEMA. They don't really do anything to prevent anything. They don't do anything to help you. They just kind of show up after they've allowed everything to take place. And they don't really clean up for you. They, they clean up what hand they had in it. So October 4th, they're going to be doing an emergency test. Now, people say, well, that happens all the time. Well, you're just reaching now. Well, let me reach a little more so you can actually have a reason to say I'm reaching. OK, let's let's start reaching together. They want to give you an announcement over the airways, and the radio and the TV and your telephone and your cell phone and pager, I guess, if you have it to test the emergency broadcast system. Now, again, put your tinfoil hat on with me. Why? Can, can you tell me why? Do, do you have something that you know about that we don't? Is there, so, or are you trying to tell us in case something happens, this is what we're going to do? Okay, so tell me what, what do you think is going to happen nationwide? I'm just curious, what do you think is going to happen nationwide that you need to alert everybody's phone at the same time? Hmm. The same alert. Now, also, last time I checked, but not everywhere has the same disasters, right? Okay. Some are prone to fire, some prone to flooding, some are prone to hurricanes, some prone to tornadoes and earthquakes, but it's not all the same all across the United States. So are these alarms just kind of like specific to one issue or is it just a, a blanket to see if we can reach your phone or what, what if I don't want to be alerted? I don't have that right or choice. That's not a violation though. Here's a here's a problem. Again, we're reaching, remember? So don't keep saying that we're reaching. You know at the beginning of the video, too strong is reaching. Okay. So again, reach with me. An emergency broadcast. If there is something to happen nationwide, all at the same time, it must mean one of two things. You know about it already, and you're planning it, or you just want to see if you have access to everyone's devices and attention. Again, tinfoil, stretching, reaching. For those of you that want to believe that this is just a random test, every day, they do it all the time. It is just in case for whatever emergency they have access to tell you to respond. I would believe that 
if they actually used it when it was necessary. Case in point, Maui. That's part of the United States, right? Okay. FEMA. Okay. Emergency broadcast has been around for a while. Yeah. Never implemented during an emergency. Huh. That, that was a natural disaster is what they called it, right? Okay, good. FEMA was already on the ground before that. Yes? Okay, good. So you knew about everything that took place long before it happened because you were there, right? You are Your emergency broadcast system was already in place. We've been having that for years now. But you didn't use it at all when you were supposed to. But now you're telling me on October 4th you want to test everybody's devices because you want to make sure. Your track record is suspect at best. Suspect. Here's what I really believe you want to do. You are testing every device to see if you have access to it to shut it down. That's what I believe. You can't have the CIA testing it. You can't have the FBI testing it. You have to have the arm of the government that's allowed to do something like that do the test. Every mobile carrier has to agree to it and give access to the government. And they did that and they're implementing it on October 4th. We don't know what emergency they could be thinking about. We already know they have multiple ways to drop an emergency on you. And you want me to believe it's just for our well-being. That's, that's what you want me to believe. Try again, FEMA. Try again. This is a grab to see how many people, how many are going to just sit by and let it happen. Again, we're stretching, right? Okay, yoga with me then. If the government really cared about your safety and the emergency broadcast was a way to do that, you would have seen it in full effect in Maui. I have gotten reports on my phone before. Amber Alerts I've gotten on my phone. There's a fire up on top of the hill. I've gotten that on my phone. Their excuse was they couldn't play across the airways because people would run into the fire. You mean to tell me your so-called emergency broadcast couldn't go to their phone to tell them where to go? But you want me to believe that all of a sudden on October 4th, you have my best interest at heart and you're going to test the system because it, you know, it needs to be tested. If y'all are that slow, man, please keep, keep walking and, and hopefully you might lose a lot of weight before you get where you're going. But you ain't tricking me like that. I'm not, oh, look, for, for at least for two, we're not that dumb. We're not that dumb. They are slowly playing their hand to see how far they can go, what they can do, what they can get away with, and who is going to say something. So we're going to say something. We are going to say something. And I'm saying right, right now, you can quote me. This operation on October 4th is not about emergency services. This is about access to you. And just watch and see if not by the beginning of next year, they use that exact same thing to shut you down. Don't believe me? Okay. Guess what will tell us? Time. Do you need a car? Been shopping only to be turned down because of bad credit, low credit, no credit, bankruptcy, or divorce? Guess what? Today's your lucky day because now you can buy a car, truck, or SUV, just about any vehicle. It's true. Bad credit doesn't matter. No credit doesn't matter. Bankruptcy or divorce, it just doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, your job is your ticket to your new vehicle. We're Auto Credit Express, and we've helped thousands of people just like you. Antonio H. told us, great company, got me connected, and the day I went in, I drove off in the car I wanted. 100% worth your time. Need a car? Get started now and drive off as early as today. 
Just text NEW CAR to 88909 right now to get started. That's NEW CAR to 88909. Auto financing the easy way. Text NEW CAR to 88909.